In this video, I'll show you how to create 500 listings, meaning title, description, and tags within the space of literally just five minutes. On top of this, I'll also show you how to import these listings into Flying Upload and connect them to your designs, which will save you hundreds of hours of work and make your printer demand life a lot easier. So first of all, I'm going to show you a quick example of what we're going to do today so you understand everything more easily and you know what you're doing from the start. Basically, let's imagine that we've got four niches, cycling, fishing, gaming and sailing, and we want to create listings for these designs that say great cycling design for men who love to cycle. But instead of writing these listings out manually for each of these designs and exchanging the word cycling with fishing, gaming, etc., we can write a formula with variables that actually does the job for us. And you're going to need some sort of spreadsheet editor for this. I'm using Excel, but I believe you can also use Google's spreadsheet editor for free. So to get started, just select the first column up here, A1, and then you want to use the formula bar to type in a formula. And these formulas start with an equals symbol and then two quotation marks. We're going to write our text in between these quotation marks and we'll start with great, which is obviously the start of a sentence. Now, instead of writing cycling into this, we want it to refer to the column over here that says cycling. So we're going to put quotation mark and symbol, then G1, because that's G1, another and symbol and another quotation mark. Now you have to write the rest of the sentence and instead of cycle, once again, we want to refer to this column right here, quotation mark and H1 and symbol quotation marks. And now full stop to make it the end of the sentence. And if you now hit enter, you're going to see that it actually inputs cycling and cycle within our sentence. And the coolest thing about this is now that we've finished this once, you can use this little square at the bottom right corner of your column, drag it down and then if you let go, you can see that in the first row we had G1 and H1, and in the second row it automatically changes it to G2 and H2. And you could even change these afterwards and they will update in your sentence. And now moving on to the best part about this, which is that we can combine the skills that I just showed you with scalable designs like these ones right here and flying upload. So you can create listings to make them ready to be uploaded to all of these different marketplaces. So to get started with this, you want to want to head over to help and then click on download Excel files. Then you want to go ahead and extract this zip file that you just downloaded and head over into the actual folder where you see different templates for flying upload. This method works the same with all of them. So if you're uploading to all the marketplaces, including Merch by Amazon, for example, you would have to use this file right here, flying upload MBA. I'm going to show you the example with the flying upload basic file, which doesn't cover Merch by Amazon, but the methods are the same. This one just is a bit quicker to show you. So copy this file and paste it into the folder that has all of your designs in it like so and then open this file up and because this file is just a template or an example we need to make some changes to make it fit our scalable retirement designs so just delete this bottom row delete the image path for now because we'll get to that later the language will be e n which is english of course title description tags we'll deal with that in a minute the type i would typically unless it's like a beer or adult humor design i would just have men women and youth and then color for the design example that i've got would be black background now i'm going to copy the list of job titles into this flying upload file if you're wondering where i got this list from it's from automatepod.com they have different csv files available for download there which have like hundreds and hundreds of different niches in it yeah just copy this list of jobs by hitting ctrl c on your keyboard head back to the flying upload file and then paste them into this empty column right here and you want to start from the second line down. Hit Control V to paste, and now we've got a list of jobs in here as well. To now actually start filling in the title, description, and tags, we'll use our formula again. So use the formula bar here at the top, type in equals, quotation marks, and then within those type something like retired, quotation mark, and then I want to use the H2 field this time. Another and symbol and quotation marks, I could put retirement gift as well for the title and hit enter and now if i draw this out a bit it has generated the title with that job title inserted right here do the same for the description 
it's not a long and brilliant description, but this is just going to be an example. Obviously make yours a bit longer and fill it in with some better keywords as well. And for the tags, you would probably want to have the main keyword as your actual job title. So just start off with that, with our little variable formula, and then just fill this out with some relevant keywords afterwards. Once you're done, hit enter once again, and now you're ready to drag all of these columns right here down with our little square in the bottom right corner once again. So hover over that and then just drag all the way down until you're at the last job title. Let go of this and Excel will do the job for you. It's filled in all the different jobs right here into our descriptions, titles, and tags. The last thing that's missing now is giving the spreadsheet an image path so it knows which designs to attach these titles and descriptions too. So heading back into this folder right here that has our designs in it, you will notice that the order is slightly off. So we've got 911 operator, accountant, and then account executive. Whereas over here, account executive is before accountant. And that's because that Excel list basically wasn't ordered by name. This here is, if we sort by, this is ordered by name. So what you want to do to fix this, basically just change this to date and then change it to uh, ascending. And now it's put every design into the same order as these actual listings right here. And now you can go ahead and select all by hitting Control A on your keyboard. The only thing that you don't want to select is the flying upload file. So just hit Control and then click onto that file itself to deselect it. And now you just need to click on the first one right here. Hold down Shift and right click onto the first design in your folder. Click Copy as Path. Go back into your flying upload file. Go to Image Path and hit Control V to paste these in. And now this file is basically ready to be imported into Flying Upload. So just hit save and we'll jump over into the Flying Upload tool. So the only thing that's left to do now within Flying Upload is actually drag your spreadsheet into this window on the left hand side, drop it, and then it's going to take a few seconds, depending on how many actual designs you have, to load these into the uploader. As we can see right now, clicking through these, all of these listings have been created with the correct settings and the correct job titles applied to all of these fields. You would now want to either delete this spreadsheet from your folder or just move it somewhere else for future use because all of your design data or listing data is now saved within these XML files. This is just for importing data initially. In future, if you're within a different folder and you have different designs, let's say you've got designs that say best zoologist or best zookeeper, then you could use the same sort of file. Literally just go in here into the title, change this, to best, um, obviously change that around a bit so it fits your other design, change the description, and then once you've adjusted that, just draw down once again the title, description, and tags all the way to the bottom, and now it's adjusted all of those titles and descriptions for a different type of scalable design. If you're completely new to the tool of Flying Upload, then you should probably watch my tutorial next on how to set this up, because there are some extra settings that you need to configure to be able to upload these designs to different marketplaces. So if you're wondering how I created these designs in a very quick fashion, then you should probably watch this video next, where I show you how to use Adobe Illustrator to create a thousand designs in just one hour.